Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. So guys, what I got for you today is a, it's kind of a sleeper set, but it's really not either. It's a really good opportunity to catch fox and coyote, and you, if you need to pull them off of their main line of travel. Um, you know, for some reason, maybe the farmers are still in the field and they're running up and down a road or something of that sort. This is a set that works really well for that. Now, this set works better if it's in taller grass or taller weeds, one of the two, but for uh, demonstration purposes, I put it in some shorter grass so you can see just exactly what I'm doing here. So let's uh, flip the camera around and let's get started. All right, guys, so here we are on this on this mowed path that runs off down to that ditch down yonder. This is pretty good fox country here. We've got a cemetery right here, and as I've said before, you know, those cemeteries are just red fox magnets. But they're going to be running up and down through here later on, so I know I can't set right on the road. But what I can do, what I've done here, is dig a trench around through this higher grass and I always give them an in and an out both that way they feel comfortable they can come into it either way they want now this trench probably would be a, a little more attractive if it was just a little bit wider but I don't go much wider than what my trap jaws are because you're going to place your trap right there at the end of it there and then down here at the end of it as well and then what you would do is give a big squirt of urine or fish oil, maybe lay a little bait trail, not much, but just enough to make him break stride. And then back here in the middle of the trench somewhere, in here, in here somewhere, you would place a T-bone or a piece of PVC pipe, uh, something of that sort to get their attention to come down this trail. Like I said, you'd place a trap on this end, you'd place a trap on that end. Now, if you're in higher grass, if you're in higher vegetation, you can hang a snare in each end of it and it works just fine. Um, and then you would put your, your louder, stronger smelling call, lure, call type lures back here on your tractor, whatever that might be. The set's simple, guys, it really is. There's not much to it, but it darn sure will work if you put it in. Could put these things in anywhere that you have a travel route you don't have to be you know on a road but if you've got a travel route you can dig this in like this and i generally try to put them on a on a curve and always give them an in and an out uh, you can if if you if the, if you feel comfortable doing it which is a lot of times that's what i do is just dig the trench straight back into the higher vegetation you've seen me do that before in different videos dig that trench straight back and then flip the dirt out across the road to get them to break stride and then follow right down but this is just another variation of that set is all this is so don't be afraid to uh to try something don't be afraid to put some of these in like this they darn sure work for you all right guys i know that was kind of a fast little video there wasn't a whole lot to it but there was some pretty good information in it if you choose to use it would like to take a moment and remind everybody that we do have t-shirts and hoodies and, and ball hats available. Uh, I'll leave a leave a link down below in the, in the description. We also are putting on a, a trapping school uh, September 22nd, 23rd, 24th. We're taking a limit of 10 students. I've got accommodations for you to put you all up. I'm going to put you up. I'm going to feed you. Uh, the cost is $1,000 for those two and a half days. You're going to see things that you normally wouldn't see and things that you won't find on YouTube because of just the, I can't put that stuff out to everybody for nothing, guys. Um, I got to hang on to some stuff for myself just because of the competition I have here. So, uh, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate you watching. If you found this video helpful to you, if you would, please just hit that thumbs up for me. Once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.